Butler Tekken tournament going on somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Alright. I actually don't like the song that much. I like what it represents. Alright, Q-Seth starting off pretty strong here. Aggressive. Seiko got that defense. I should have did 2-1 for the screw. All right, get that wall pressure up. Uh-oh. He's just trying to fight for that wall pressure. Nice movement. Oh. Q-Sap, don't put yourself at the balcony break, even if you don't have that much health. Everyone has been so afraid to hit Seiko. I remember I was, too, when I fought him a long time ago in ICFC. But, really, I'm not too afraid of attacking Leroy as much as I am now. You can just move away from him. And then, if he whips the stuff, it's really easy to beat. Landon, did Q-Sap beat Soft? He did. He beat Soft and Wet. Yeah, well, I mean, we were. I told everybody you had to get early. Something happened, unfortunate, you know. You could have won it. I really think you could have won it this time. I think you probably would have played mad aggressive versus Seiko. It would have been good. You were dropping a lot of combos. You'd have to do a lot more empty shotgun spins to bait that uh, one at punch. Those empty shotgun spins pay off when they think they're really going to do empty shotgun spin and they got to get off the wall. And you can finish it. But moving on. Why did you break the balcony? Whatever. I'm not the one playing. Where that orbital? That was woke. High level. Orbital in the back. One plus two. Harry? Okay. You just gave that to him. Okay. Back four action. All right, he's playing the video game. Mm -hmm. One jab, up forward one. Up forward one again. Uh oh. Oh, that is a good Leroy move. I forgot all about that. He has so many good moves that you can use. Yeah, you I get off this wall, Seiko. You got Rage Drive. For those of people who don't know, Leroy can instantly Rage Drive after he parries something. Pretty cool interaction. Yeah. Thanks again, Wami, for coming out. Really appreciate it. Alright. Match point for QSAF on loser side. Teto needs to do something about this. Don't be afraid to touch him. Go crazy a bit. Just go crazy a bit. Yeah, go crazy a bit. Probably not. Go stupid. Ah, go stupid. Go crazy. He's not. These two old ass grandpas fighting on my stream in the retirement home. Gray haired. He fucking did sugar. I can't believe what the hell I'm seeing. He called it assist. It didn't work. You said punishes assist very nicely. Uses other assist to Kane. I told you they were in a retirement home. What is it? The Bikini Bottom Retirement Home Fighters 4. <laughs> Good shit to Seiko. Not Seiko. Q-Seph. Seiko. Q-Seph takes the first game. Crazy ass game. I'm just still stunned by that assist. He's shaking his head like, why would I call an assist there? I should have called it on Oki. Or whatever. I don't know what he's thinking. Anyway, game two. He's playing a little bit more active. He's like, I gotta beat this bum ass Q-Seth. There we go. Ooh, good block on the full crowd down for four. Q 
Team Seth. Oh my god, back pulling the jet upper. Round two. Fight. Okay, good low parry. Alright, finally, new team's gonna end. I don't feel like Neutral should end after one combo. I feel like Neutral should end after two, you know? But a lot of Neutral ends after one combo in this second game. Usually you'd have to eat two combos and then... Or they ha or they'd specifically have to have a lot of characters. Look, he's at the wall too. Every combo is just taken to the wall. That's minus 10. Take a parry now. The parry doesn't even do that much. I think there's a way to get really good with Leroy's parry, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. Oh, I should have him. That's an Good throw break. Not break. Good throw. He didn't break any shit. He didn't break shit. Okay. It's really hard to solo commentate this whole game, actually. There's so much happening. But not really. Poking him with down four. You said staring at him like that one Kanye meme. Okay. You know, a little aggressive here. Sago's gonna answer back, probably with some down three twos. He's had enough. All right, he's checking him first. The cane, D cane, put it on you. Yep. Oh, they nerfed that move. Fast three. This is a scary moment. Two Seth is where usually Two Seth does a bunch of hatchets because he's mad. Yup, here they come. Nice. Final round. Match point. Who is taking game two in grand finals? A bread and butter monthly number 35. Seiko's looking like he's getting up that damage, but anything could happen. Not really a health deficit for Brian here in Tekken 7, especially in Rage. He has that blue stuff that we like to call. Seiko whipping for his life. Seiko just hell sweep him. He's in your face. Seiko. Take the game too. Good job. I really hope this doesn't go to final game, final round, but I do love good ass Tekken. I love it. I'm a big Tekken fan. I love the Tekken moves. They're cool. Hope y'all are as much of a fan of Tekken as I am. Alright, game three. He about to go crazy. He's feeling himself. Get them in the jaw. Stop that. You must play by my rules. What's for breakfast? Okazemi's going crazy. Jabbing. Seiko trying to get that lead back. He's got 30 seconds on the clock. Q-Seth's got a lot of time to play some defense. Seiko trying to get some parries in there. Uh-oh. Seiko needs to put him on the wall here. Oh my goodness. Side set one. Get the launch off. Drop combo. Seiko's in rage. What is he going to go? But he gets floated by a jab. Oh, he should jab more. All right, round two. Let's see the adjustment. Let's see. Seiko still has Kane in his inventory. He can use the once per match Kane item that reaches to range 4,000 across the screen and launches you. I used to be plus on block, but we realized it was too broken, so we didn't take it away. We only made it safe still. But it's not plus. It might as well be. I mean, he can carry. Full four, two, two read. Now, kind of random. He could have died for that. 
especially uh, since he had a health lead, but it did pay off, so good one to Seiko. Round three. I love when it's round three. I feel like I can play kind of weird and get data for like the next two rounds. And then on my final round, I can play super weird and crazy from the data I used when I was down around. I don't know, I feel like I play round three pretty good. When both people have one round up. But enough about me, enough about these players. That was such a sick back one. Down two. Round four. Fight. I'm gonna call out the move names, inputs, so you all know them. Back one traded with the back one. Both two back ones. Three plus four, 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 four. Down three, two. And two back one plus two from Leroy. We're going to the wall. What Oki is he gonna go for? He tried to go for Matt's damage, but he dropped it. Chusef wants to uh, get a taunt here. Finally, he's paying attention to the wall, but Seiko said, I don't give a shit, and I'm gonna mash in your face. For those of you who didn't know, Brian's taunt, while well, it is an unblockable one that, what is it, 27 frame? I don't know, I'm not that big of a nerd. Um, he is in a counterfeit state while he's taunting, so you can smack him in the face. Oh my goodness, he's not gonna... It's, Seiko gets so lucky with those down three fours. Oh. Oh, he stole that from Incog. Oh, with punish. Wow. Joseph looking kind of powerful out there. Joseph looking kind of nice out there. That's crazy. I honestly think Seiko can win this with Dragon Up. But, I mean, he's playing Leroy. I do not want him to play Dragon Up. I don't. I care about his mental health. His girl is watching. He can't lose this shit. He's getting, he's getting cooked in front of his girl. He's getting turned into origami. He got turned into origami right then, AKA he got folded. For those of you who aren't in the know of what that means. Fight. Will he turn him into another paper bird? Game four. We'll see. Okay. Both players starting off pretty small here. Okay. Down four. Uh oh. Wow, he ducked that down for one one, bro. Make sure you duck those and launch them. Think they're gonna come out, bro. Really, bro? You really did that? Seiko's in rage. How will he rob him? Rob, carry the down two and rage drive, or not? Get hit by it. Round two. Seiko's just gonna go ham. I know how Seiko plays. Or not? Nice. Nice. Good launch, Seiko. He got the moment from that. This is nice for him. Seiko's really good at. You know, Seiko's been. Oh my goodness. Joseph always does the hacking kick before it goes to hell. Alright, round three. Seiko's got the positional advantage right now. Joseph got caught mashing into him by the one inch punch. Really strong move from Leroy. One of its kind, 12 frame counter hit launcher. Oh, wait. I guess Akuma has a 12 frame normal hit launcher. That's a mid. Scratch that. Special mid, but it's still an attack. Come on. Round four. Fight. Sound like a South Park character. I've been watching a lot of that lately. 
Seiko sitting on a match point, trying to tie up the set. He's about to play a little crazy. Oh, he followed my advice. Just keep doing that move over and over again. Yusef does listen. Yusef playing out of his mind. Coming all the way from losing the bracket. Oh my goodness. Yusef, a very OG player. That is That would have been cheap if he tried to move. Trying to do a new tactic. Can we see some rage drive? Are you saving your rage drive for Tekken 8, dude? Come on. I mean, he got the win, but damn. Motherfucker saving his rage drive for Tekken 8. And that's Tekken announcement. He has a 401k rage drive. Damn, dude. All right. Final game. Chusef needs to win this shit in order to reset the bracket. I really hope Seiko wins only because, like I said earlier, I did not use the bathroom. But we're still in here. Yusef in a very advantageous position, having Seiko at the wall. Very strong first round from Yusef. Yeah, you see, Seiko did some extra button mashing right there. That's how you know he's he's thinking. You, you, you saw how he does that every single time. He's super thinking right now. It's a lot of under a lot of pressure. For people that don't play in tournaments very often, grand finals is a very tense situation. Sometimes it comes down to which player can stay the most relaxed. I know both those players' hearts are pumping. I know Seiko's like, God damn, I got hit by that. You really don't want... In the bracket reset on you is a scary feeling. It is a scary feeling. You do not want that to happen. You just want it to be over. Okay. Okay, good parry. That is a broken move, I think, right? The Sabaki. Yeah, that's a that's a sick move. Good orbital. Yusef coming downtown. Looks for breakfast. He drops a taunt. Very tense situation. Can Seiko make a comeback here? I hope so. Oh my god, the low parry. Oh, good conversion. Oh, I lied. He dropped the taunt jet upper. What's about to happen? No rage drive. Why aren't you parry into rage drive? Oh my goodness. Like I said, Seiko saving his rage drive for Tekken 8. I don't understand the decision. But Jusef takes it, resetting the bracket. We're back to 0-0, zero, zero, I think. I think. Um, so, yeah, we got to play another first degree. Let's get it cracking. You just hit rematch. Just play on it. I got to listen to the Squidward trance music, man. Remember that that episode where it was just playing that like trance music? He was like dancing. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, Seiko's bodying him this round. He's really mad. He just lost grand finals reset in front of his girl. So he died to make the comeback. He's not losing grand finals when his girl was watching. I felt that. Fight. Personally, he just said it's time he won a month. He's trying. Personally, if my girl was watching, I would whoop ass. I don't care who's on the other side. Seiko got kicked in the mouth. Yusef finally hit some hit some links. 
And honestly, he dropped that, but I respect it because it looked like the 4-4-4 four, four, four was going to win. Now, that was an interesting decision. Seiko's defense just is he's playing solid defense. He knows the block versus Brian. Nice. Maybe the stuff I showed him before the tournament helped him. I really teach did teach him about like waiting. Yeah, yeah, you see how he's playing more timing based now. Parry that. Ugh. For those of you who don't know, Brian has enough time to taunt there, but you can interrupt it, I think, with the 10 frame. But Leroy's parry is really fast, so you might as well just parry the taunt and whatever comes after it. Ooh. This is a terrifying spot. I think Q Sap's just gonna go low. Oh. Round four. Fight. Oh. Round star orbital certified Brian Classic. Ah yes. The neutral orbiter opener. It's like chess openings. Ah yes, the QSEP opener. The Jimmy J Tran defense. Neutral orbital round start. Bravo, bravo. Let's see what these players pull out. Ah, the back dash opener. Nice. The Korean defense. Why I'm teaching Shaco shit? Mommy, I said I was gonna pick up Julia, bruh. Didn't I tell you to just do empty shotgun? Come on, man. I'm right here. I got everyone. Everybody's like, yo, Landon, can you, can you teach me the shit? I'm like, yeah, I got you. I'm like, yo, thanks. I got you. Leroy has better counter hits than who? Better counter hits than who? Every damn near Brian moves a counter hit launcher. He got hit by the cane. D cane. Put him on him. You're going out with. Yeah. Nothing to show for it. That is a hard ass outro. He's like. Round one. Fight. All right. Seiko's up a game. The adjustment he made after the reset is coming through. Sometimes after the reset is all they need. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. I know there's a lot of pressure. I know what it feels like. I know what these players are feeling right now. It's fun to watch them squirm on the stage. It's hilarious. Side step one is trying to rob him. Don't give it to him. q -Sess obviously going to go low here. He wants the damage. Good whip punish. Can't be whipping against Seiko. Ooh, ooh goes for the flop over. EU OD, what is that? Bro, you got a jab. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, unfortunate for QSEF. I know he's mad as shit right now. And Seiko does the assist smash. He's feeling in the zone. I guess that's what he does to get him in the zone. Good job, Seiko. Mr. Bean needs to make a comeback here. For those of you who don't know, Qsef is also the Mr. Bean of Tekken. As you saw with how he lost the last round. He's always in the wrong place. He's got that always sunny of Philadelphia vibe to him. But not in real life, only how he plays Tekken. Look, about to be a punchline right here. Watch. See, wasn't that shit hilarious? Look, he's about to rob him. He's going to rob himself. He's going to rob himself here. Somehow. Somehow he'll rob himself. I told you. I told you. He had the health lead and just randomly ran up to him. See the Mr. Bean. Y'all thought I was capping. I wasn't. Hopefully he can make a comeback here. It's like I've known these guys for like 10 years now or something. What is it? 2023? When I was like, what was I, 14? Nine years now, man? That's low. Yeah, I know how it feels to be the worst person in the scene, and then I guess the best person in the scene. Uh, 
Daco just remembered a really funny move and it got him killed, but honestly, he'll probably win this round. Told you. It's like I've seen it so many times. This this is a certified hood classic. I'm surprised Seiko even got the shit reset on him with his girl watching. I thought he was just gonna go go in. Yusef trying to remember how he should play. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh. Get ready for the next battle. All right, complete silence. Nothing really to talk about right now. They're getting into the next game. We're on a Kuma stage, except we don't hear the. That's not the stage music though. I had the part of the song that goes like, bark, 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 bark. He got hit by the wand move. That character isn't even in the game anymore, and he got hit by the attack. I've been seeing so many people get hit by that. Wow, honestly, wow, Leroy 444 is a really good move. I would just start doing it. That's a cheap move. It's not like you can hit him out of it. All right, Yusef uh, being a little bit more patient here. Uh, these players are very old school, so you just see them move around a lot. You go back and then go back and return to neutral a lot. I noticed a lot of people that started with Tekken. Are you, are you kidding me? Did Tekken 7 crash on console? Did Tekken 7 crash on console? I've seen it all, folks. I've seen it all. Sorry, we got some technical difficulties going on. That is unfortunate. Um, all right, it didn't crash. Something happened. What was that? I think they might just play it out. I mean, we're hood like that. I think they're really just going to play it out. Yeah, we're hood like that. We're just gonna play it out. Um, no one gives a fuck. Nothing happened. We're trying to go home. We're hungry. We're all black. At least the three people, me, the commentator, the two people playing. I think we got it. We're good, right? All right, we're playing it. That's how we do it out here. Let's just, get, let's just keep it going. Oh, I love this song. I would listen to a full track of just that riff. Oh, I might make that. Uh, this is set point for Seiko, by the way. So, Qsef. Oh, Qsef did the... Seiko did the meterless side switch. For some reason, Qsef is stepping off of the wall, his only win condition. Up, oh, he also got a counter hit. He's back. Taunt Oki. Okay, what's for breakfast? Take the down four. He's solid. And he hit another counter hit back one. The memes are happening. What is going to happen? Qsef, please fight for your life. Seiko asking for the assist button to give him faith. Bottle of the ninth inning. Seiko putting up some pressure. More counter hit launchers from Chusef. Chusef hopes he hits something random. We don't know what's going to happen today, folks. That's how they saw it down here at the force track. 444. Yeah, please do not. Okay. Seiko trying to play it slow. He's sitting on a really hefty lead, a point lead, and a set lead. He can just wait for all his data. Oh, he used his Tekken 8 attack. Chusef afraid of what he's going to do after. Uh-oh. Back one. Back one plus two. Back one four. 
Okay. Down 3-2. He just did a minus 14 move. He has a minus 10 knot down. I don't know why he doesn't just do that. It's also a wall bounce. Seiko hit the most crack with punish on the Jimmy J Tran opener. We covered that earlier. Up forward two. Up forward two. That's plus one block. Seiko, for some reason, finishing it with the health lead. Uh, Qsef's looking like he's about to be made into some origami, and he did. Seiko really did turn him into some origami, a.k.a. he got folded. Congrats to Seiko. He is the winner of your Bread and Butter Monthly, number 35. Bravo. Bravo. So tell me, John, how did you feel about that? Yeah, me too. Well, thanks for watching. I think Guilty Gear's next. That's some pretty good-ass Tekken. I'm going to go home. Um, probably chill. Hope you all had a good Saturday. I love this song. Uh, shout out to everybody that watched that. Good ass Tekken. It was pretty funny to watch. Mr. Bean versus Seiko Grand Finals. Yusef almost took it. Almost took it. He'll win a monthly eventually. I believe in him. He'll get it. One day. It's been eight years. He'll get it. Thank you all for watching. I'm heading out. Peace.